slash. I'm a sick man, folks. Uh, I had a hard time sleeping last night thinking about that 52 Studebaker bus. It's real close to my house. Uh, and the guy wouldn't let me film it yesterday, but I think he's going to let us film it today because I kind of made a commitment to get it. Based on, I know I said I am not buying any more trucks. The Studebaker bus is for sale, and trust me, someone will buy it. Uh, but I'm not bringing it home until I sell some more trucks. I don't have to bring it home till after the Fourth of July, and uh, hopefully, I'll have it sold by then. And even if I don't, I'll have a bunch of other trucks sold by then. But. Every now and then one's just so weird and unusual looking that it tugs at my heartstrings and I can't leave it alone. So uh, hopefully this guy uh, with us locking in a deal on this thing, he will let me film it. Um, he's real camera shy and he's real shy about anyone knowing anything about his stuff, which I get. You know, a lot of people are like that. but wish me luck uh, not as far as getting the truck that's a done deal I think we just got to shake hands on it and I'm putting a deposit on it but I'm gonna go ahead and try to film this 1952 Studebaker short bus I was thinking we could either call it the stool bus or the Studebusser let me know what you think anyway I hope he lets me film it because I really want to share this with you guys. It's a, it's a neat old bus, and uh, you know I go after a lot of. Everyone wants the fancy pickups and the short beds and big windows and cameos and all that. I like the old work trucks because you know they've got a history. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so this is the 52 Studebaker bus and the gentleman that owns it uh, understandably does not want his whole property or his other vehicles filmed and I'm going to respect that. There's a reason I have keep out and no trespassing signs on my property but he has been cool enough to let me go ahead and film it today I did give him a deposit on the truck and I understand that I don't think I'd want people about uh, looking too much at my stuff if they weren't serious about buying it he knows we're serious and uh, I have a lot of people that let me come to their property and film stuff because I don't tell people where they're located or their names and things like that and you just got to respect that it's still America <laughs> the man has a right to his privacy but this is a very cool bus 1952 Studebaker short bus it does have uh, a lot of rust on the roof right by the drift rail but the rust is only on the outer skin uh, the inner skin it's real solid. It was converted into a motorhome at one time. And he pointed out that there were some wasps nests in here. There's one back there in the corner. There's, he said there was one above my head when I was in here, but I'm not scared. And it was a, converted into a camper at one time. And uh, there's some cool stuff going on in here. Now, it had a fire in the back corner over there. Actually, it was in a garage that caught fire. Uh, the guy I'm getting this from said that it belonged to the mayor of Anchorage at one time. Apparently, oh, there's a couple more wasps nests. Uh, apparently, there's a shower room in there. And there's a bathroom outside that I'll show you. 
but we're not going to focus on that because the skin's not really damaged there and uh, I would gut this if I were going to do anything with it. Uh, no rust really on the inside metal, pretty solid. It's got this cool old spotlight right there. Uh, the stove don't look bad. An oven, uh, sink, nice countertop. I would think somebody could fix this up. Um, look at the old first aid kit. And it's got, must have some kind of inverter or something because there's plug-ins right there. Real fancy GE toaster oven. <laughs> anyway, I've never seen a bus. Uh, I don't know if it came like this or not. I would probably put a bucket seat here. But this looks to me like a 55 to 59 Chevy and GMC truck seat. Because I'm very familiar with those. And it is. It is definitely. Um, so, but he pointed out that the gauges were nice. And what I'm looking at is it's only showing... miles and I would think that's been flipped over except I look down there at the pedals and for a 1952 bus hmm 50 67 years old uh, if it had more than 31,000 miles those would be worn out all of those pedals are in really good shape um, it's got the Motorola AM radio in it those look like GMC gauges to me a lot, but it's probably just standard script. So it's got a tack. Oh, and he pointed out that the Studebaker horn button is right here, which I think that's important. I'm going to leave that right there. That probably goes with it. Um, vacuum wipers. Oh, another thing he pointed out was that it has a 24-hour clock up here in a console, an overhead console, and an altimeter. Huh. Why would a school bus have an altimeter in it? And it's not something somebody just scabbed in there. Now oh, there's the other wasp's nest. Alright. So, that's a good view of the inside of it. Uh, and you can see this metal on the inside is all real solid. Uh, the door looks to be in good shape I think there's something disconnected he said that there was a actuator rod that went from one door to the other and it's disconnected but that's okay not too shabby the floor doesn't feel bad either in here got all the correct latches on the windows I mean I'm not sure you would have to clean the heck out of them to get them to drop down and everything but I think it's pretty cool, folks. Yeah. Let's go look under the hood. So as far as the engine compartment goes, uh, the inner fenders looks pretty solid. The firewall looks good from what I can see. Uh, someone has taken and put in a Chevy six-cylinder in here from the, looks like, uh, late 50s, early 60s. Chevy 6. Radiators there. We'll just leave the hood like that for now. Anyway, one thing, uh, the sheet metal, exterior sheet metal on this, as far as the truck, is real solid on it, and it's not all beat up. I mean, there's, I see a couple little dents in the hood that I could probably pop out right now. The grill's in real nice shape. Uh, got some fog lights on the front that look like they've been there a while. Looks like that's the correct original front bumper. What I like is it's got the original California black plates on it. That's kind of cool. There's a little dent right there in this fender, but pretty solid. Oh, here's something that, that I thought was kind of funny. Here's the bathroom. Apparently there's an issue with this door, so I'm not going to go yanking it open. But uh, you can see there's a little sink in well, Huh. I don't really want to undo that. Anyway, there's a little toilet in there. I can't get you guys in there. That's the bathroom. It's a little cubby hole accessible 
by this door right here. That's kind of neat. Little chimney up there. Uh, got the California black plate that matches the front on the back. And I've got lenses and stuff for these red lights on the back. Original rear bumper's pretty straight. Pretty heavy duty looking. So that's it. 1952 Studebaker short bus. The guy did not rake me over out the coals on this. So uh, if it hangs around, like I said, I'm going to be selling a bunch of trucks in the next month of my own. So I'll have room for it. And that's all we can show you out here. Classic Truck Rescue. He's out. Yarkosaurus stalking him. the wood. <laughs> dead wood. It is dead wood. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it, Anna. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. <laughs> I don't know. She's pretty serious about it, though. 